In December 2019, a new virus infection was detected originating from a meat market in the city of Wuhan, China, Corona N 2019. Thousands of cases have since then been reported from over 25 countries across the world, and the numbers are rising. The World Health Organization has declared it as an international public health emergency. Many questions come in our minds. What is this infection? How bad is it? Am I at risk? How can I protect myself? Let's ask Dr. Smart about it. Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. A from Smart Clinic. Let's talk about this new coronavirus. Dr. A, what is Corona and 2019 virus? And how did this outbreak start? Viruses are types of germs that cause infections and coronavirus is one of them. Coronaviruses usually cause mild infections in humans, such as common cold, while some other coronaviruses cause infections in animals and birds. At times, the viruses of animals and birds can develop special features that allow them to attack humans. Since these viruses are new to our immune system, this infection can be severe and spread very fast. China and the World Health Organization is taking all possible measures to stop the spread of this virus. How does anyone get infected with coronavirus? And how bad is this disease? The virus enters the body through the nose and mouth and infects the breathing system by going into lungs. Inside the body, the virus starts multiplying. Soon, our body's immune system starts attacking the virus and person starts feeling sick. It can take from two days to up to two weeks to develop any symptoms. Common symptoms are fever, cough, and shortness of breath. Some people may develop other symptoms as well. During this time, the infected person can spread the virus through secretions and when coughing or sneezing. Once outside the human body, the virus can only survive for a few hours. The severity of disease is different in different people. Most people will recover over time as our body fights it off, but they may need close monitoring, medicine for fever such as Panadol or Tylenol, and supportive care like staying well hydrated and taking hot drinks. Currently, there are no antiviral medicines against this coronavirus. Keep in mind that antibiotics are not effective for viral infections. In some cases, infection can be severe and lead to serious complications and death. Almost 2 in 100 people with this infection have died. How do we protect ourselves? As I mentioned before, the virus enters our body through the breathing system. So we need to take caution to stop this from happening. Here are some practical steps we can take to avoid this infection. Number 1. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth with unwashed hands. Number 2. Wash your hands frequently, especially after coughing or sneezing. When around anyone who is sick, after touching surfaces of public use, coming home from work or school, and whenever hands are dirty, use soap and water to wash hands and rub them for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water is not available, then use hand sanitizers with at least 60% alcohol content. Number 3. Avoid close contact with sick persons. If you have to be near a sick person, then use a face mask. Number 4. Avoid travel to China until the infection is controlled. And number five, when coughing or sneezing, cover your mouth with elbow rather than hands. You can use a napkin to cover as well and then discard it in a covered bin. What do I do if I have any symptoms? Now, if you start developing symptoms, stay home and avoid mixing with people or going to work or school. This way, in case you have coronavirus infection, you won't spread to others. If you have symptoms of fever, cough, or shortness of breath, get yourself checked. Inform the clinic or the hospital before you arrive so they can make appropriate arrangements to protect other people. As we learn more about this new infection, we will keep sharing updates with you. Stay healthy and help others stay healthy. I hope you learned from this video. Spread this message so others can benefit as well. Subscribe to our channel to learn more about health and disease. Stay healthy and help others stay healthy.